So this is Brett Strauss with the FHL. I wanted to take a minute to do a little bit of training on the check-in manager position. Uh, the check-in function and the registration function within the FHL app are very tight. We're extremely proud of the development we've done and how quickly and easy it is to check in a large number of individuals into your beard comp in a relatively short period of time. I wanted to walk you through what that experience is like. First of all, we recommend one check-in manager for every 30 competitors you expect to be at the event. The truth is that a good check-in manager can usually check in about 45 people in an hour. Uh, but we set you at 30 since your guys are probably going to be fairly new. You're the, the men and women that are going to be doing this. So if you have 100 people that you're expecting at your comp, uh, we recommend having three check-in managers three check-in managers to check all those folks in. So as a check-in manager, you're going to go to the um, you're going to open up a browser in your on your phone, and you're going to go to app.facialhairleague.com, and you're going to see a check-in box. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to enter in the username and password that uh, I was given. Uh, you'll be given a couple of usernames and passwords for your team. So my my option I think is test one at FHL.com and then my password is password. So let's see if that lets me in. Great. Okay. So it's let me in as a check-in manager. Uh, you can see it says FHL test event. That's the name of the event just to confirm you're in the right location. So there's several things you can do on this page and I'm going to walk you through each one. First of all, um, the first option you have is the um, check in an, F, an existing FHL member. So what I do is if I'm standing in line, when someone steps up to me, the first thing I ask them is, do you have an FHL account? They're either going to say yes or they're going to say I already paid online or I don't know what that is. No one ever says no. They're usually a little bit confused by the, by the question if they don't have a membership. So in the interest of time, cut them off and simply say it's free. It takes about 15 seconds. We can set you up a new account. What's your first name? So for, let me do this. I'm going to go ahead and uh, let's pretend the first person stepping up is not an FHL member. I ask them if they have an FHL account. They hum and haw and I say, don't worry about it. It's free. Let me see, get you set up. What's your first name? So they come back and they say, the first name is John. I say, what's your last name? They tell me Smith. Uh, they say, uh, I ask them, what's your email address? And we'll say j.smith uh, at yahoo. Dot com. This is the this is the most difficult part of the whole thing is typing in the email address. Once they've given you, given you your email address, their email address, you, you need to ask them what category they're in. So we're going to go ahead and select a category, uh, and this looks like it's called uh, Full Beard Freestyle. I'll hit the submit button, right? So we've got a first name, last name, email address, and a category. I'm going to hit the submit button. Now, the next thing I'm going to do, now they've been registered, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to check them in. And part of the check-in process is being sure to take a good photo of them. Now, I don't actually have a live individual here. I'm going to use a picture on my computer screen, but I'm going to hit the Choose Photo button. I'm going to select my camera as my option. And then what I'm going to do is what you want to do is, number one, you want to have good lighting. But number two, you want to try and fill the screen with the individual. So you want as much of their facial hair and their face to take up as much of the pic picture as possible. The last thing you want to do is stand five feet away and have them taking up, you know, 25% of the picture. It's just not a good photograph. So now that I, I've taken this photo, I decide I like it. I'll hit the use photo button. What it's going to do is it's going to pop it up. And then what I have the option here to do is to click the retake button or the confirm button. I'm going to go ahead and confirm it because I like it. And at this point, I'm done. I've checked in an individual. You can do it in about 20 seconds. It's very simple. Now, this is a very important step. Once you get back to this screen, what you want to do is you want to repeat all the information you see in the gray box back to the individual. This is where we're going to catch any mistakes that are made. Sometimes people will accidentally select the wrong category because the list is very close. The words are close together. This is our chance to stop and catch it uh, before we move on. So what I'll do is I'll say, okay, John Smith, you've been successfully registered for Full Beard Freestyle. Your lanyard number is 18. I'll turn around. I'll grab the lanyard card off the table. I'll turn around and hand it to him. I'll shake the hand. I'll say good luck, and I'll ask the next person in line to step up. Boom, boom, boom. The goal here is to get everyone on the outside of your event through registration and check-in and into your event, and that's a bottleneck. So we want to keep this moving quickly. 
and, and, and try and keep it moving at a, at a pretty good pace. If someone steps up and they start humming and hawing, well, I don't know what category I should be in. I was thinking about doing this and I might go trim. Just ask them to step aside and get the next person in line. You want to keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. This is a uh, strip away the beards, and this is basically an, an event management issue. And the, the way to deal with this is get everyone in as quickly as possible, get them checked in and registered. So let's say they come in and they say, I, I am an FHL member. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to search by last name only. Do not search by first name. The reason is, is there's probably 200 people by the name of John in the system. So, so it's irrelevant what first name they give you. So I'm going to go ahead and look for myself. I'm going to type in Strauss. I'm going to hit the submit button. Oh, well, of course, everyone's, everyone that has um, uh, named Strauss has been registered, apparently. So let me pick another common name. We'll say Jackson. So what's going to happen is the system's going to go back into the database. It's going to come back with a list of everybody with the last name of Jackson. And then what you'll do is you'll ask them what their first name is. So I'll say, okay, it's Grizzly. So Grizzly's going to say, all right, I'll select it's Grizzly, and we're going to put Grizzly in Garibaldi. We know that's not actually true, but we'll do that just for testing purposes. So I'll check it in, and you'll see it says Grizzly has already, checked into, is, is already reg registered to be checked into to Garibaldi. I'll hit check in. Boom, he's checked in again. At this point, it's the exact same process. Whoops, so he's, we're going to hit choose photo. I'm going to select the picture. And I'm going to give you a picture that is decidedly not uh, our buddy, Mr. Stonewall Jackson. And we'll say this is him. Get in there, take a good picture. Hit the use photo. Hit confirm photo. Again, it's going to come back. It's going to be a confirmation. I'm going to I'm going to recite the name to the individual. I'll say, okay, Grizzly, uh, your category is uh, Garibaldi, and your competitor ID is 19. I'll turn around off the table. I'll grab number 19, hand it to them, shake their hand, send them in. Good luck. Next person in line. Keep them turning, turning. It's very simple. Now, let's say somebody comes up to you and says. Um, uh, I've already got an account, and you do a search, and for some reason, let's say, let's say Strauss. All right, let's say. I come up and I say, my last name Strauss, and you say, well, there's no Strausses in there. Not to panic. Don't worry about it. All you're going to want to do is go back and treat them like a brand new account. All right? So just go ahead and create a new account for them. What I can do on the, after the event is I can merge those two. I can merge their new account with their old account to treat them as one. Again, the idea is to move these people in as quickly as possible, get them registered, get them into the system. So I'm going to create a new fake, of, fake account for Brett. And I'm going to put him in the Verity account. I'm going to hit Submit. I'm going to hit Choose Photo. I'll go ahead and take a picture myself. I'll use the picture. Confirm. Boom, boom, boom. Keep them moving. Quick, quick, quick. You're going to do the same thing over and over and over. Results come back. Okay, we're at Strauss. Your category is Verity. Your ID is number 20. Hand it to him. Move on. That's it. You just have to repeat this process. It's very clean and it's very simple. Now, let's say someone comes to you. And they say, you know what, um, I checked in earlier and I didn't have my mustache up and now I've redone my mustache, so I want you to come in and take my picture again. So what you'll do is you'll go down to the bottom where it says edit a checked in member. You'll go down and you'll find their name. I'll find Mr. Brett Strauss. There's a couple of them in here. I hope this is the right one. Yeah, it is. I'll say, you know what, I want to retake my picture. I'll click the little camera icon. Hit the use button. Hit the submit button. I'm done. It was that simple. That's how quickly you can come in. You can use that to change names, uh, to change uh, photographs, or to change categories. You might want to come in and say, well, we're going to move you to another category. The last thing we have is the pre-registered member selection. Sometimes if you get halfway through a check-in process, someone might get caught up under the uh, uh, pre-registered members box. So make sure that's clear before you start your, your competition. Make sure no one's kind of gotten lost in that little drop down. What that means is that they got halfway through registration. They still need to get their photograph taken and they still need to have a lanyard card handed to them. That's it. It's a very simple process. Uh, that's all you need to do to follow that to get everyone into the system. Again, if someone wants to stop and chat and ask you questions, just try and keep them moving. There'll be plenty of time to talk after the event starts, after check-in is done. You can sit back, have a beer, talk to anybody. But at this point, you want to keep people moving, getting them into your system as quickly as possible so you can start your event on time. Thanks.